guys, I'm Manjri Mukherjee and you're watching me on Pop Diaries channel and I'm in conversation with someone who's going around calling himself the 12th fail, being the 12th fail but you and me know that he exams mein he's already passed with flying colors, huh, my I have to say that. Well, yes, you are completely right. He's the unconventional romantic hero. He nails all his grey shades on screen, be it small, be it big. And what can I say when he's just a positive ray of sunshine? And he's my personal favorite, the one and only Vikrant Masri. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for such kind words. Happy uh, Navratri. Thank you, same to you. Yes. And congratulations on the most biggest good news of thank your you. life. I mean, thank seriously. You. I think I was more, you know, on <laughs> happy. <laughs> because I was like, because you are my personal favorite thank person. You. You've I've been very with kind. You so many times and the goodness of your heart is something that I've always taken away with me, you know, as a lesson. You're really kind. You're <laughs> so, really kind. Yeah, so today I am soaking positive vibes on yes. a very auspicious day. <laughs> on a very auspicious day, yes. yes. And on that note, I want to know, being a father, doing 12th fail, um, do you feel academics and the pressure that it forms mm. is something which is very important in one's life once they are growing up or while they are growing up? See, education and academics are definitely important. I am a very firm believer in a fact that education is definitely a gateway to a better life. But having said that, I also realize that uh, academic success or only academic success is not success. True. You know, for life success, you need a lot of things. There are so many things that are concomitant to create a successful life. And it's not just from studying. And uh, pressure hai, bahut hai. It's a very competitive uh, space. Especially in 12th fail, you will see that when we talk about the exams of the UPSC exams, ki jo baat kar rahe, they uh, apparently, after China, or some examinations in China, happen to be the second toughest examinations in the world. So, oh uh, pressure hota hai pe, and I've seen it up close in person. So, uh, yeah, it's daunting, but as I said, on the other side of education is a better life. The balance is a I think. Absolutely. I will personally also say this because, uh, you know, when I was doing my degrees, hmm. I was in history. Achha. And, you know, they are always generally saying that history say you always do this UPSC exams and all yeah. these things. So there were a lot of people who were pushing me for that as well. Oh, but okay. then I was more into this kind of media. Entertainment and, and media. And yeah, yes. my family has always been very creative in that way. Arre wa. Bongs, na. Bongs <laughs> are always creative. Very, very yeah. creative people. <laughs> they either do science, doctor or they either go the creative way. So, yeah. 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 So I always had that kind of a backing. But my friends and all, I knew they were preparing for it right from the start. Mm. And I, I, could, I could see the pressure in their eyes and the way how they used to study and everything and it was, I think it was truly inspiring also in a way because they worked so hard yes. and in 12th fail when I was watching the trailer, the way how it has shown, I mean the stark reality of this exams, the pressure is so beautifully shown across and I'm very excited for the film, I'm sure the Thank audience you. is as well and they will connect to the story, they will connect to your character as well. But being under the direction of Vidhu Vinod Chopra. Yeah. When you talk about a man like that, the first thing that comes into your mind is, oh, he's like the box of creativity. Yes. He, he must be pushing his actors, you know, above and beyond their yes. capacity. Yes. What was it like for you though? Uh, you, you said it. He's <laughs> someone who not only pushes his actors, his technicians and his entire team beyond their comfort zone, but he begins it with himself. So he is a true leader in that sense. When, when your team leader, when your director is someone who is willing to go beyond his own comfort zone, you are compelled to do it. That's the amazing. amount of hard work that he's put in for this film is, is astounding. Uh, he has been working on this film for almost four years now. And here I am talking to you. He's reading the film up. He's mixing, he's sitting on the grading himself, he's giving in 16 hours a day, every single day. And when you see someone like a Vidhu Vinod Chopra, who's 
practically achieved everything in life. Absolutely. Who's made masterpieces as a director and producer writer. Hame to sharm a jati hai. But uh, while filming 12th Fail, I think I had the best time of my life in front of the camera. Also because he was so kind enough to involve me in processes which I have never been privy to. When I say that, he, he conducted some 14 or 15 look tests with me. He would share his mind with me. He would ask, what do I think about certain things? Uh, he even was so kind to involve me in most secondary cast uh, auditions as well. Wow. So, I have auditioned with the secondary cast, like I would say at least 30, 35 auditions, jo bhi hamari, you know, secondary cast hai, unke saath. So, he was so kind and I think I realized that, aur ye pehli baar hua mere saath, and I realized that I think I really enjoyed that entire process. And in front of the camera, like you said it, he pushes you beyond. And I, I, at the cost of sounding pompous, would say that I think this is my best work because for the reasons I, 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 I just mentioned, I just love him. He's someone who's, who's been sort of, who literally has handheld me and he's sort of guided me. I can go on and on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I yeah. think we all can relate to that feeling. I mean, we all have that one person who does that for us. And you know, looking at that person, yeah. we also, com we feel compelled to do it. We get a lot of strength. Yes, absolutely. We don't just work with them. That's today's very important part of my life. You know, he's, he's a friend, he's a mentor. And I would not say that about a lot of people, to be honest. But I've been lucky. Like even when a death in the guns happened, that angel was Konkana and very lucky to have found Vinod sir again. And these are different kinds of people. Their right. work and their life is, is proof of it. I completely agree yes. with that. I completely agree with that fact. And on that note, I would ask you, in posit there is a lot of positivity, uh, positivity when we talk about failure. And yeah. success. They say that famous saying, you know, that mm. failure nahi hoga, to success nahi ho paega. But it is, the reality of that thing is that it is a very uncomfortable state yes. to be in. Yes. You feel uncomfortable. Even though you get a lot of motivation when people are saying that thing again and again, you still do not realize it at that moment. Yeah. Um, is, is there ever been a time in your life where you have completely, you know, you've been completely on the verge of giving up, but then something or the other happened and you just yeah. kind of used it as a turning point and you said that I have to deal with yes. this. And I think it happens every now and then. In all our lives, I, I, I would True. want to sort of generalize it at the same time, but this happens with everyone. Uh, professionally, hota hai, personally, hota hai. you know, if uh, we personally, hum baat kar rahe, the biggest sense of setback would be a, a loss of a loved one. True. You know, everyone has to restart their lives. Everyone has to sort of find their feet again. Or who uh, I am professionally be who I personally be who I but the idea is and I've been very lucky to have the right kind of people around me, whether it's family or friends. Uh, ye hai, you know, ki, and like you so rightly said, it's easier said than done. Right. When you are in the midst of it, I think you are, your first reaction is bound to be dejection. You are bound to feel sort of, you know, extremely uncomfortable. But this old jo saying, hai, you know, your, your successes don't define you. It is your failures that define you, that build your character and what you do from there on. And that is exactly what restart is about. Absolutely. You know, it is it is not about how well you start or how you start. It is about how you restart. And uh, all of us have had those moments wherein we've had our own self doubts. We've sort of felt weak. But uh, as I said, it's it's about how you restart. And, uh, I've had my moments in life too, and I think most people have their moments. Wo yaad rakhna bahut zaruri hota hai. 
बहुत ही डिफाइनिंग मोमेंट्स होते हैं वो लाइफ के एब्सोल्युटली एंड यू वर टॉकिंग अबाउट रीस्टार्ट सो दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई आस्क अ लॉट ऑफ माय गेस्ट्स यू नो इट्स अ इट्स अ रिकरिंग थॉट फॉर मी आई एम वेरी क्यूरियस टू नो आफ्टर सच अ लॉन्ग जर्नी विक्रांत यू हैव डन एवरीथिंग दैट पॉसिबल इन दैट आई नो देयर इज अ लॉट मोर एज वेल बट सीरियसली आई जस्ट हैड टू से बट यू नो इट यू नो इट एग्जैक्टली सो एंड आई हैव सीन यू ग्रो नॉट ओनली एज अ पर्सन बट I think you were phenomenal even then. <laughs> okay, but Thanks. you're phenomenal now. You're more phenomenal. But I have to know if you had to go back mm. and you know just say ki this is one thing that I want to tell you, your younger self. You know, what would that be? I think I would. That a couple of things I would definitely say because when I was younger, I probably I didn't finish most of the things I started. वो एक सीख मैं अपने आप को दूंगा कि यू नो नो मैटर व्हाट यू डू वेदर यू फील एंटायरली फॉर इट और नो यू नो अगर कोई चीज़ शुरू की है तो उसको ख़त्म जरूर करना है एंड आल्सो एट द सेम टाइम डोंट बी टू हार्श इन योर सेल्फ आई थिंक आई वाज आई वाज वेरी हार्श व्हेन आई वाज से सिक्सटीन एटीन और वन आई जस्ट स्टार्टड ऑफ प्रोफेशनली और वेन आई हैड सॉर्ट ऑफ स्टार्ट फॉर्मिंग माई ओन वर्ल्ड व्यूज आई वॉज वेरी वेरी हार्श ऑन माई सेल्फ आई डेंट गेट इनफ टाइम विद माई फैमिली और माई फ्रेंड्स and as a result of that i don't have a lot of friends wahi mere ginti ke paanch chhe dost hain jo 20 25 saal purane hain so i would be a little more open sort of enjoy life a little more not be so harsh on myself but i having said that i also know ki agar had i not been that way with myself because i didn't have any mentor or anyone to guide me so wo khud hi main tha you know sawal aur jawab main khud hi kar raha tha apne aap se I would have probably been a little less harsh on myself. Yeah. Yes, and I think that's where we say be kind on yourself. Yeah, yeah, right? you know, you need and to be kind. And before I let you go, Vikrant, as you know, I always end with something fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that is something that people look forward yes, to. I look forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have a back to school concept hmm. for our twelfth field star. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So are you ready? I think yes. there are a lot of embarrassing stuff over here. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Which college or school did you study in? Uh, my school was Saint Anthony's High School in Warsaw. Mm-hmm. My college was RD National College in Bandra. Okay. Fondest school memory? Fondest uh, school memory. I think I have loads of them. Just the entire time that I spent in my school, I think those years are really, really fond. Okay. Yeah. In childhood, I didn't want to go to school because finish the sentence. I was very sleepy. <laughs> very <laughs> sleepy. Subah subah chhe sawa chhe. Or mera school na 100 meter ki duri pe bhi nahi tha. See. Less than a hundred meters also. But there were days when I was so exactly. sleepy. मतलब बस बहाने मारने थे. I relate. Hashtag yeah, relate. Yeah. Hashtag relate. <laughs> okay. How did you celebrate your birthday when you were in school? Yar. my birthday would always fall upon uh, examinations to oh. april mein aata hai mera birthday hmm. aur april mein exams hote hain yes. final exams hote hain hmm. to kabhi maine school mein civil kapde pehen ke dusre bachchon ki tarah class class ja ke chocolates nahi baati hai never done that i've always given exams <laughs> during my birthday yeah, aur wo yeah, pressure bahut hota tha ghar pe cakes. to wo cake we ghar pe kaat lete the hum hmm. par cable bhi kata hua hota tha uh, बड़ा ही ऐसे ना दुखी सा माहौल होता था कि हाँ चलो चलो केक काटो केक काटो पढ़ने जाओ पढ़ने जाओ बिकॉज एग्जाम है तुम्हारा तो ऐसे कुछ सेलिब्रेट भी नहीं कर सकते थे हम वेल यू सेलिब्रेटेड द होल अब मैं बड़ा कूल है बट कुछ ओवर फ्रेंडली लोग जो होते थे ना लाइक अरे विक्कू आई वुड बी लाइक व्हाट द हेल यार आई इट्स जस्ट आई डिडंट लाइक इट आई आल्सो हैड वेरी एम्बेसिंग या व्हाट वाज योर्स बोंग्स हैव एम्बेसिंग नेम ओनली शूटू छुटू पुटू राइट या व्हाट वाज योर्स माइन वाज मानू मानू ओह दैट्स गुड दैट्स बेटर दिस इज क्यूट हां दिस इज क्यूट बट आई हैव आई हैव फ्रेंड्स हु आर लाइक बुम्बा यू नो बोंटू Don't to I mean it's crazy it's crazy I think all these bongs are going to hate me but it's it's adorable it's cute 
it's cute. Yeah, it's it's a cute yeah. dark. Dark nam is yeah, dark nam <laughs> dark nam is very cute. Okay, which was your favorite period in school time? Favorite period? <laughs> I would say Hindi. Hindi because. और ये भी मुझे रेट्रोस्पेक्ट में ही ऐसा लग रहा है क्योंकि जो हमारे प्रोफेसर थे हिंदी के धीरज नारायण सिंह वो मुझे बहुत प्यार करते थे पर पिटाई भी बहुत करते थे उनकी उन, उनकी हर तीसरी क्लास में मेरी बहुत पिटाई होती थी बट नाउ आई रियलाइज दैट इट वाज बिकॉज ही वांटेड द बेस्ट आउट ऑफ मी ओके वर यू नर्न और बैक बैंक आई वॉज समर इन बिटवीन लाइक द फर्स्ट फ्यू ईयर्स ऑफ माई स्कूल लाइफ आई वॉज वेरी स्टूडियस जैसे ही मैंने एट स्टैंडर्ड में फुल पैंट पहनी और कुछ कुछ होता है और दिल चाहता है और ये सारी फिल्में देखी <laughs> बस उसके बाद माथा ही घूम गया फिर वहाँ से फर्स्ट बेंच से सीधा लास्ट बेंच उल्टा हैपेंड विद मी या अरे वाह फर्स्ट फीलिंग वाज आई वाज आई टू ऑलवेज फेल बट इट वाज एट द एंड इन द 9th एंड 10th व्हेन वी पीपल गेट सीरियस दैट टाइम आई काइंड ऑफ फेल मेरा उल्टा मेरा मतलब आई थिंक जब पढ़ना चाहिए था तब नहीं पढ़ा Okay, the last one. Okay. Did you have any crushes in school? Of course. You did? Yeah, yeah. Like classmates, teachers, everyone. Wow. Yeah. And if you get to restart <laughs> your school life, will you do that? Like if I have no choice then I will embrace it. But no, I'm happy. I'm happy. I I am someone who wants to just keep moving forward. Wo piche mud ke dekhna mujhe zyada pasand nahi hai. And I think that is where I would like to call off this conversation. I am sad to leave him because uh, I keep yeah. love talking to him. So <laughs> Thank much. you. But Likewise. one thing Likewise. that I think we and the audience and I we all will be taking away, and I'm if correct me if I'm wrong, to us feel is something that makes you believe that the impossible can also be possible for you. Absolutely. So even if the world says that you can't do it, you can and you, you can. will do it. And when they say you can't do it, you should do it all the more. Exactly. Yes. And take that motivation and go to the theaters. Don't forget to watch Twelfth Fail in theaters, 27th October. And yes. this was Manjri Mukherjee in conversation with Pranant Masi, only on Fab Dai's channel. And until then, what will you do? As I keep saying, like, share, subscribe, and yeah. don't forget to click on that bell icon and do comment and tell me what you loved about the interview. Bye. Bye. <laughs>